Hey guys, so I'm um, trying something just a little bit different today. What I'm going to do is I'm going to play a, uh, a song for you here, and you can follow along with the lyrics. And uh, afterwards, I'm going to make some comments about some of the grammar that is used in the song, so maybe we can learn some of the grammar. If you're a Spanish teacher out there, you might be able to use it in your classroom. And um, the song that you're going to be listening to is called Miente by Enrique Iglesias, and Miente uh, means lie. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the text on the screen for you, play the song, you can follow along with the lyrics, and then afterwards I'm going to make some comments. So uh, here comes the song. Alright guys, hopefully you enjoyed the song a little bit. I kind of like the tune it's got going with the piano and whatnot. Before I kind of go over the two commands, or the commands that are in the song, I'm going to point out something to you really quick here at the top. I put uh, all familiar or two commands are underlined in the song. Bold, uh, there was an error in the original lyrics that I fixed. It's correct on here, but where I found the lyrics it was wrong. And pretty much all of the errors were the same thing. They just didn't have the accent marks. Uh, where they were needed. So I went ahead and through and put those in so we had them correct uh, and now we have the right uh, version of it I guess, or the perfect version if you want to call it that. So the affirmative two commands that you find in the song are listed right here. There are a total of five of them. Uh, this one, which is also the title of the song, Miente, that is, I'll put it over here for you, 
the it comes from the verb mentir, which means to lie. And mentir also happens to be a boot verb where the e changes to an i e, uh, and that's where we get miente from. Uh, the next one right here, this uh, dime. Well, it comes from. It's actually two words. The d comes from the affirmative two command of the verb decir, which is d. And then the me is me, so dime is tell me. Uh, Jurame uh, comes from the verb jurar, which is like to swear. So uh, jurame would be like swear to me, whatever comes after it. Uh, this comes from the verb grabarse. Uh, and the te, obviously, that's going to be the reflexive pronoun. The se changes to te. And you, of course, um, like we've seen already with the dime and the jurame, in an affirmative command, we attach the pronouns to the end of the command. So um, we have grabate. And grabate is like to kind of like to remember, like to have something ingrained in your memory. And then uh, we have one more, uh, dejame, which uh, again is two words from dejar and me for me. And this is like a, dejar can mean a few things. In these sentences it means to allow, so it's like allow me to do something. There is one negative to command in the song, or a negative familiar command, and it's from the verb uh, pedir, which is like to order or it can be like to ask for something and uh, pay, sorry, I mean, type this on here really quick. It's a, it's a boot verb uh, where the E changes to an I. And in a negative two command, uh, we have uh, no me pida. So it's like, don't, don't ask me for something. And then one thing I found kind of weird, um, and we have, I found one usted command in this song, which I thought was strange because the whole song, all throughout, he's using uh, the familiar. Two command, negative two command. He's like, he's talking to this person in informal. And then he has this one command. Uh, Vendame, which is an usted command. Vender, of course, means to sell. And uh, something to sell me would be the literal translation of vendame. So I thought that was kind of strange. I, at first I thought that must be an error when I looked at the lyrics, but when I listened to the song, sure enough, um, it says vendame. Uh, so affirmative usted command for sell me something. So that's it. Uh, that is the song Miente by Enrique Iglesias. I hope you like this video. Well, if you stuck around this long, thanks for doing so. If you wouldn't mind, uh, leave me a comment in the comment section. Just let me know if this is something that you like more of. And uh, if, you do, if you would, then I'll probably make some more of these. So thanks for watching and enjoy your day.